My name is Laura Manicha, and I'm the co-owner of Pediatric Healthcare Connection. Um, PHC is a private duty nursing company, essentially. Um, we feel like we're more of a private duty nursing practice, um, more of a boutique, small, niche type company um, that feels that we've solved um, the more personal connection need that there was in the industry. So what I mean by that is that uh, we have kiddos that you know have long-term care needs. And so what we're trying to do is provide a long-term care solution. The change opportunity we saw was um, to no longer be the Band-Aid, you know, that um, we kind of, you know, we've been in this industry for a long time and it was always about, you know, kind of getting a licensed person into the home, you know, if you rotated through some people then, then that's okay. Um, it, it was, to, to us, there was never a personal connection, there was never a personal um, relationship in that case management, you know, of the families. Um, in order for them to be working with you, we felt like they needed to trust us. They needed to know that we were in it for them, that we were not, um, you know, motivi motivated by any other like large corporations or anything else. It was just um, that we ourselves are, um, are parents of a medically fragile child and, um, you know, have a glimpse of what they experience. And so we hope that we're able to offer them that more personal connection, that trust factor. Um, and, and those long-term solutions for their kiddos that hopefully stay um, meeting milestones in their home. Um, pediatric Healthcare Connection in itself is a love project. <laughs> uh, I think that the journey of getting there was a long time coming. Um, you know, my husband and I had been in this industry before. He'd worked for several different companies. And um, after our son was born with a severe bleeding disorder, um, we kind of stepped back and really had a hard decision to make. Do we, do we go through a new, another company? Does he get another big box job? Or did we, do we branch out? Do we do this? Do we like dust out that business plan that we, he'd kind of worked on several times and do we really tweak it? Do we work on um, what it's going to look like, how it's going to go and, um, and jump in? And um, we were on board. We both had the same idea that we would just do it. And um, we knew we had a lot of support. We knew we had a lot of great people in our lives that could you know, either support us from the sidelines or be part of um, this love project. As, as far as taking our own personal experiences, um, we think about our hard days. We think about what has been the most challenging to us. Um, the best part of those challenging days are the people that come in your corner when you, when you don't expect it when you're not even looking for it. We kind of use that, you know, I use that um, specifically when I'm speaking with the nurses on the phone. I'm um, kind of interviewing them, of course, as far as what they've done before, you know, where they've worked, um, the experience that they're gonna lend to um, our company. Um, but what I'm listening for is their heart. I'm listening for, um, how much they love pediatrics, how much they enjoy being in someone's home, making change, um, being consistently there, being able to be counted on, um, and being able to be part of that family. The big winner is the family, that they get you know, that relationship. I don't really feel that you need an award to tell you you're a change maker. I think everyone you know, should understand that they have the ability to make change. And sometimes it's small, and sometimes it feels insignificant, and little do you know it's making a larger impact.